The Tensegrity Table Part 2 The Table Can Support Weight Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, and get out there into, your, into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your support allows me to buy more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. One person asked, why am I making so few videos? And I replied saying that I can't go out of budget with the Patreon income because I'm a TV and electronics repairman and I make very little money, not enough to pay the bills. And I need the Patreon money contributions to be able to buy materials with and I have to save up some of the Patreon uh, contributions for me to buy the materials. Also, it takes me time to think up new ideas to bring you science demonstrations. So it takes me time and I have to save up and stay within budget of Patreon. Today's video is on the tensegrity table. It can support weight. Let's get to the physics demonstration. But first, here's a picture made in a wood shop of a table for a living room to put mugs on, of a tensegrity table. Notice how with the tensegrity table, it seems to defy gravity. Yet it runs on magnetism. Here the magnets are well hidden. Just like my intensity table, it can also support weight. If you notice with my table, as I pointed out in the first demonstration, the first video, these are just strings. They stabilize the top table. Here, there's a gap right through the table. It's suspended in air. It seems to be gravity defying, but yet it runs on two small, very powerful magnets which are attracted to each other and I talked about the physics of this in the tensegrity table part one video it takes time to reassemble the table when it collapses and it collapsed in the last video so I couldn't set it up in time so I need to do a part two in this science physics demonstration I'm going to show you that the top table can bear weight and first, I'll place this brush, this laboratory br cleaning brush, on top of the table. And you'll notice it can support its weight. I can take these spoons and place them on top of the table. And they can support them also. 
but exactly how much weight can the magnetic force of the tensegrity table hold up on the mysterious floating top plate? Well, I have a series of weights. And we will try them. The first weight The first weight is 5 grams, 5 gram weight, and I place it on top of the integrity table, tensegrity table, and it supports it. The next weight is 10 grams. I place the 10 gram weight on the tensegrity table and it can support it. We're up to 15 grams of weight. Here's another 10 gram weight. And we're up to 25 grams. How far can we go? This is a 20 gram weight. for 45 grams. Will it hold? And yes it will. And now for my final large weight. This is a 50 gram weight. Will it stay afloat? This will be 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95 grams. And it holds all the weight which I was not expecting to happen. And now it collapsed. But that's okay. It can delicately be replaced and put back together. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals always reminding you to find those beautiful rocks and minerals. You only have to do one thing and that is to keep looking down.